What's going on guys? Super Brian Games here. In today's episode, we are going to be attempting to replace the battery of a Pokemon game. So if you come up with this screen, your battery is probably dead, more than likely. Your internal battery has run dry. The game can be played, however, clock-based events will no longer occur. I ended up purchasing this Game Boy, the AGS 101, and the Pokemon Emerald for $20, which is a really good deal considering this is the better Game Boy Advance. I will be replacing the shell on this one eventually. But for today's episode, we are gonna replace the battery on Pokemon Emerald, and I have a tabbed battery. This is a CR1616. You can do it without it if you just go and purchase a battery, but it's messy. And First thing we have to do is remove this tri-wing screw that's on the back of the cartridge itself. Luckily there's only one screw so it makes life a lot easier. And then to open up the cartridge you have to like slide it I don't know if you guys saw that. Let's do that again a little closer. And bam! That just pops off like that. Okay, so we have the battery here and this is what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, desolder these two points, remove the battery and then place the other one exactly the same way. So pretty much just like that. Actually, let's see negatives on top. So it has to go like this. Make sure your negative and positive are the same as the previous battery. So we got negative on top and then positive on the bottom. So I'm going to put the battery like that. That way I don't forget. And we're going to start off by removing that solder. I've got a couple of options here. i got a desoldering wire, which I'm going to use, hopefully. And then I have this other method of desoldering, which you heat it up, get real close to it, and then it sucks it out. Then, of course, whoa, that threw some solder. i got some... Uh, Solder, soldering gun. What the heck happened here? All right, so yeah, we got solder, and I got some like little cutting pliers just in case I need them and a screwdriver to hold things in place. But I'm gonna let my uh, soldering iron warm up and then we'll get back to it. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was, I ended up uh, taking the bottom piece out because I don't want to burn it while I'm uh, trying to solder. So we're going to take that out and get rid of this one too because we do not want to break it or burn it. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Alright guys, so... I'm going to start off with uh, this side right here. Hopefully my solder solder iron is hot enough. So I'm just going to place it here, get it a little melted. And then using this, I'm going to try and suck up that solder. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use the desoldering wire. So let's get to it. I can feel it already. I think it's already kind of hot. So let's see what happens here. Now I'm trying not to get the battery hot. That will not be good. There we go. It looks like uh, starting to melt.
I almost burned my finger. Yeah, one thing I do want to say is be very careful because these soldering irons are very hot. Alright, let me see if I can get some of this off. Alright, it appears to have just a little bit, whoa that's way out of focus. We pretty much cleaned up the top, maybe some on the sides, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but there's quite a bit. Alright, let's uh, try that. Yeah, that one definitely got some out. That was a big chunk right there. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do now is uh, warm this area up and then try and like lift the battery at the same time. I'm going to try and do it quickly so it won't get hot and I won't get burned. Alright, so as you can see there, I got that side lifted. Now I'm going to do this other side. Keep in mind that the longer the iron is there, it's going to get really hot and it can burn you. There we go. Popped it off. Alright, so we got the battery here. Negative is facing the top. I do notice it's a little bit different. But it's still gonna work. All right guys, so what I went ahead and did was um, I bent this a little bit lower so it could be under the battery. And then this side, I went ahead and did a slight bent so it can get over that uh, chip. And it's barely touching, as you can see there. And then this one is definitely touching, so that's gonna really help us to get some solder on there. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, I think doing this side first is going to be easier because we got plenty of solder on the bottom all right here we go man my soldering iron is really hot Terrible, terrible. All 
All right, that looks to be barely grabbing just enough to do this other side over here. Let me see if I can get it to melt the bottom and then... All right. Gonna use this to press down on it while I... Beautiful, beautiful work. Same thing here. Oh, I let go too soon. All right. Let's see how this looks, because I'm looking through the camera. I need to get a little bit closer. That actually looks to be somewhat decent. I need to maybe apply some more solder on this side. All right, so now I'm just gonna use some 91% alcohol, like butt light, just kidding. And just clean up the area real quick. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. You can see it's kind of getting on the Q-tip. All right, now for the moment of truth. Before I put the the screw, just want to make sure everything is uh, lining up properly. And it is. Make sure it goes all the way to the back. Now, let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we did a good job. Let's see what we get. Nintendo! I've been playing way too much Animal Crossing, guys. Um, I played in the morning and then right before going to sleep, too. Pokemon Emerald. I never did have this version, so now it's cool that I have a version of Emerald that's authentic and hopefully is 100% working. I have Sapphire, that's the one I used to play. Look at that, we don't have that uh, dry battery notification, which is cool. So, we officially replaced the battery on this Pokemon Emerald version, which was uh, not that difficult, guys. Now, on the other battery, this little latch right here does not exist, but we just went ahead and bend it. And it made it work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you have any ideas on how to make it better, let me know in the comments. Maybe help somebody out. Thanks for watching guys and I really appreciate the likes and the comments. We'll see you in the next video. I might do one replacing the shell on this one, but I'm still trying to figure out what kind of color I want to go with. 
So stick around, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit that notification bell. Ding ding. Bye bye.